Welcome back to my channel guys. In this video we are going to implement Twitter login in React Native. So far we completed uh, Google login and Facebook login in React Native and we are gonna see today Twitter login in React Native and please suggest to me the next video I have to upload in social login LinkedIn or Instagram. You can let me know by comment or you can join my Facebook page. So now let's talk about Twitter login in React Native. In my opinion, I find it little bit difficult rather than Facebook and Google login because you need a Twitter development account. You may mean Twitter develop, developer account to do Twitter login in React Native and it's quite difficult. It's not easy to create a developer account and it's quite uh, irritating because Twitter wants to know why you are creating this developer account and you have to enter a description minimum 20 to 200 words and if you want Twitter post you can also have to enter description almost 100 words or maybe 200 and so on so so I that's why I find it a little bit difficult because in Facebook on Google you don't have to do anything just you have to log in the login in that developer console using your Facebook ID or your Gmail ID for Gmail login but in Twitter it's they will ask you lots of questions that will irritate you so let's focus on Twitter login right now so first uh, I am I am using this library react native Twitter sign in so first you have to first you have to install by entering this command npm install react native twitter sign in minus minus save minus minus save stands for it will uh, install the latest version so i already installed this and after you creating your twitter development account developer account so your developer portal look like this and here is option add app so i'm gonna add app so it's showing my existing app I should, rather than choosing existing app I will show you how to create I am creating a new app I am creating a new app <coughs> and you have to remember the name have to be unique so if, if I show you if I enter my app will show me that looks like the app name is already taken try a different one so I'm gonna enter my channel name and this is my API key and API secret key and barrier token so we don't need this right now and if you want to do a Twitter sign in so you have to enable this authentication setting so let me show you from the beginning so this is my project portal so this is my app i'm clicking on developer setting settings option so i am going to enable authentication settings and you have to enable this one and and when you are trying to log in with twitter account so you obviously need the user email id and if you don't need this so you don't have to enable this one and if you need user email id so you have to enable this one and twitter needs a callback url and for that you can see here callback url required first one is for ios and second one is for android so for ios we have to enter twitter kit and minus app, app api sorry api key then colon slash slash and for android just we have to just enter twitter sdk colon slash slash and we have to we can find our api key api key and secret view keys this is our api key so for ios and android for ios we have to first you have to enable this two 
then for ios you have to enter twitter kit minus api key colon slash slash twitter kit minus api key colon slash slash this is for ios and for android we have to enter twitter sdk colon slash slash and see twitter sdk colon slash slash and twitter also need a website url organization url terms of service privacy policy i will show you why this this is required so just you can enter your demo demo url for right for now and for in future when you are publishing your app you have to enter a, a valid url because uh, for privacy policy so i'm gonna enter this one right now this one for everything and hit save so it's saved and we don't have to do anything over here and if we go to the twitter login sign in library you can see for android we don't have to do anything we just have to install the plugin that's it and if your react native version is lower than 0.59 so we have to add this one and this one and this one so i guess everyone is using react native version greater than 59 so don't have to do anything and for twitter uh, for sorry for for ios we have to do this you have to do this you have to add all of this you have to import this twitter kit you have to add this so now we already added our project in twitter account so now we are gonna open vs code so i run my project so i have empty project so now we are gonna implement twitter login in this first we are going to add a button we are going to remove the text we are going to add a button button will have a title and a on press method now we're going to call this method here and we're going to save and see we have the button login with twitter so first we have to do we have to um, we are gonna import rn sorry native module we're going to import rn twitter sign in from native module and secondly we are going to need the api key and consumer secret key so we're going to create a constant to name it api key first parameter will be API key so we have the API key and this is our API key and second date
a secret key. This is a secret key. We copy extra space. Sorry. So we have uh, we imported R and Twitter sign in from native module, and we have we have stored a object. We have created an object API key where we stored our Twitter API key and secret key. And then now next, when user click on the button login with Twitter, we have to initialize Twitter. So first, we are gonna do sign in dot init initialize Twitter using our API key and secret key. So this is how we have to first we have to initialize Twitter and secondly we are gonna call the login function and login function and we are gonna use a then for we are gonna store the login data if it's success we are gonna go in login data and you have to go we are gonna use a console to see else we are gonna go to catch to see the error now if you see if we click on the button login with twitter So we have we did something wrong. Maybe this one. Oh, login is undefined. Oh, we have to enter I in capital. So now if we check. I'm going to navigate to Twitter. So I made two mistakes. So I have to sign in. Sign in I will be capital and login I will be capital. That's why I'm getting that error. So this is how you have to create. And once I told you, I'm going to show you why, why we need this privacy policy. Let me show you. Why you need this privacy policy url and website url because twitter give that option to check the uh, website that they're asking for login and the, their privacy policy and terms and condition that's why twitter need that so you are going to use so you now you have to enter your username and password and authorize this app you, you named our app developer scene it, that's why it's showing developer scenes and you can can also change the app icon changing this app icon and this is your name and this is your app id so i'm going to enter a login username password Authorize app and it says it's relating back to the application. This may take a few minutes. Next login successfully, and we can if we, if we check our console, we are going to see this login data where we have our auth, auth token and name, email ID, everything we want. Now we have to store this according to your authentication flow in your app <coughs> that's it guys and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future video
and if you like this video you can buy me a coffee link in the description and join my facebook page to get more update thank you for watching